everybody and welcome to the weirdest channel on the internet i am christine and today we are going to be playing the sims 4 well specifically we're going to be doing a challenge and i decided to create this video because honestly i want to get this done and over with i'm not much of a builder but what am i talking about so i decided to do the duggar challenge in the sims 4 now if you're not familiar with the duggar challenge um it's basically to create as many children as god aka me in this game <laughs> but if you don't know who the duggars are they're basically a family with 19 kids they have their they had their own show on tlc called 19 kids and counting there was a big scandal involving the oldest son and their show got canceled it's still technically on with some of the other kids but it's boring not worth it it's it's a very interesting look into you know the life of people and fundamentalist views but it's it's pretty much that all right so i decided to try to recreate the tin mansion which is their huge house and i'll probably put a screenshot of the photo of the house here yeah it's it's not the prettiest house in the world but it's functional for 21 people i guess so I, I, like I said, I'm not much of a builder, so I'm probably going to have a lazy ass attempt at this. And I'm actually trying to use um, what, blueprints, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word for a second, to try to create this house. Because I kind of want to create it as close of a resemblance to the actual Tin Manch as possible. But the Sims I'm going to be putting into it are not going to be the Duggars. They're going to be like adjacent like to the Duggars, so... Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes for Christine. Usually I just download other people's works for houses because honestly, I'm more of like, oh, let's just, you know, create, like, let's just create people and like live, you know, live the life of a sim. And, you know, I don't want to deal with all the building parts because I think it's boring. But, you know, a lot of people love it. My friend who also plays The Sims, he, they, they actually like, you know, create all these wonderful uh, projects and I usually download them and now I'm just like, I'm on my own for this. So <laughs> uh, I'm also using a, a toggle, a fucking mouse. I, I'm not good at Max when it comes to those kind of mouses. I usually have like my own separate mouse, but I'm recording with my Yeti microphone. So I had to sacrifice one of them and I also had to leave my one plug in. I'm on a laptop, so... <laughs> Oh my god, how the fuck do I do this? Oh, I'm already fucking up. Alright, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Alright. Alright, here we go. How, that's how you rotate. <laughs> I literally got this thing like a month ago and I'm still like learning the mechanics of a MacBook. I've, I've only had like desktop computers for the longest time and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone and get a Mac. Alright, I think this is big enough. I mean, it's I, I sort of want to create like a little playground over here, a basketball court, because they have it in their backyard. But of course now you're just realizing I didn't create a backyard. I created like slab of concrete. This is literally like when I was watching them like build their house, like it's on a it's, if you really want to get deep dive into the Duggars, like I highly recommend you start off with the special 14 kids and pregnant again, because that's like their origin story. And they basically said that they literally just bought like stuff online and like built I guess it was like a build your own house like DIY kit kind of thing. It's really I don't it's it's weird to describe. I'm not much of a you know I don't really watch those like I can't think of the damn channel. <laughs> I'm not much of a like, you know, a like a house home improvement person so this is like really out of my zone for me but i i enjoy playing the sims i've been playing since the old days okay this looks like their door oh man i've like i'm looking at this this blueprint and i'm like okay the kitchen has to go like over this area right here living room right here and i have to build like a magnificent staircase which i'm like dreading because i know the sims just like updated their staircases like i want to say about a year ago maybe less than that and i'm still trying to 
you know, perfect the staircases, so... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just dreading all this. So my plan for the actual like gameplay of The Sims, like when I actually like start creating the house, the the people and everything, I want to really recreate like a Duggar-like family. They're not going to be the Duggars because realistically, like the birth order getting that perfect is going to be impossible. I mean, there's probably mods out there to like do that, but I don't want to deal with that. And honestly, like, I just want to create my own little family and not, like, recreate, like, their f their family, per se. I'm going to, like, try to make this, the, mother the mom and dad look like Jim Bob and Michelle, but I'm going to obviously give them completely different names. So I'm probably going to... I was looking online last night and I was, like, trying to think of ideas as to what the dad's name is going to be. And... <laughs> The first name that came up on Hillbilly, like na random name, not m name anizer, whatever the whatever it's called, was James Jimmy, and I'm like, that is actually perfect. <laughs> Imagine if it's like real name was actually Jimmy James James James, like, and all right, how the fuck am I gonna do this? All right, so like they have like a big back kitchen, like right here, so I'm gonna create it's like an industrial kitchen and i think at one point they had like a sign called the dugger deli <laughs> i wish i could find that online but it's gonna have like a dishwasher back here it's gonna have like industrial sinks and stoves and whatnot and then over here it's gonna be like the what the fuck do they call it again it's like the hello goodbye room or whatever so create a little hallway like that I'm telling you guys, I'm not much of a builder, so this is probably not going to look anything like the Tin Mansion, but I've watched enough episodes of 19 Kids and Counting to kind of get an idea what it looks like, and the dining room area is going to be over here. Everything's like open, I thought. Okay, the laundry room's going to the laundry room's gonna go right here, so the mother can have her meltdown here. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not explaining like a lot of the Duggar logic here. This is going to be their homeschool room. So I know I've read the rules in the Duggar challenge that you can actually like download mods and everything like that. And that's cool. Like usually in like a little 100 baby challenge, you can't use mods. You can't use cheats, but they seem really lax about it. So I was like, okay, awesome. I can just download whatever mods I want to perfect. So in one of the mods, which I will put in the link in the description below, it's a, it's a schooling mod. So basically it's like you can send your Sims off to private school. You can like enhance their skills while they're at school because one of the problems I've had with the Sims is like, oh yeah, you know what? They're only not going to learn like much. They're only going to like, you know, they're going to go to school. They're just going to get good, go off on their merry ass way. And, <laughs> you know, they'll come back and you'll have to do homework. But with this mod, it actually enhances and it actually creates skills for the Sims to be more creative, like learn like athletic stuff and like, you know, um, enhance their skills basically. And one of the cool options is that they can actually like, um, I'm going to create a little arch here. So one of the great options that you can do like online learning. So you can basically homeschool your sims if you want to with the, the mod and i'm like oh my god this is so perfect for the duggar tone so one of the weird things about the duggars is that they don't use like the internet like we normally do they don't um have televisions they don't have like like i said access to the internet so what i want to do is just create that this room right here to just be their homeschool room slash playroom and i'm gonna set up like a bunch of computers over here where the arch is and then I'm gonna create like a little playroom in this area because I know they have a huge slide and The Sims doesn't have a slide per se. They do have like a toddler slide, but we'll use that. Man, this is bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh, this is this is like a mansion. <laughs> this is like the trashiest mansion ever. It's so bland. Like <laughs> oh, I really wish like I know somebody probably has made this already, but I kinda wanna just be adventurous. I want to do something different. I don't want to be normal. All right, I'm gonna create an archway to the hello. They do have a mailing room. Oh, I just thought of that now. Oh, you know what? We don't need them. 
the only room. The upstairs will have a prayer room, I promise. So the basically how they have it laid out upstairs, and you're gonna find this weird if you've never heard of the Duggars, but so mom and dad have their own room, obviously, which I'm probably gonna put like right in this area right here. And the girls have one room and the boys have another room. And like I said, they have 19 kids, so I believe it's nine girls and 10 boys. So just imagine nine girls being in one room and 10 boys being in one room as well. <laughs> there is no privacy in this house. There's gonna be no privacy at all. Oh God, I can't imagine. Like it was bad enough when I was a kid and I had to share like a bedroom with my sister. All right. I'm just gonna do this with the, I'm gonna create a long ass staircase cause there's 19 of them. Oh, there's ladders, that's right. I completely forgot there was ladders, you know what? So they have a ladder from the boys to the, the playroom. So that's what I'm gonna do. Even though I think it's the slide that goes from the boys room to the playroom. Um, I'm just gonna put a ladder there to make it more fun. Sorry about the audio. I just wanted to get a cup of coffee. Mm. So, we gotta, okay, I'm gonna start dividing the rooms upstairs now. I, I like to, like, when I build, actually, I just like to create, like, the room dividers first and then build the rooms from there. I don't know how you guys do it, but I don't know. You know what? I'm not gonna, like, go off this blueprint anymore because it's not helping at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna create my own little, my own little room. All right, so the girls' room, I'm gonna put on the other side of the staircase. Oh, man. The mom and dad's room is going to be right here. There's, they're obviously going to be a lot smaller than the actual, like, you know, than the actual, like, kids' room. But you know what? That's fine. Wow, the girls' room is a lot bigger than the boys' room. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so there's going to be a little hallway. Oh, yeah, I got to put bathrooms in here. You know what? Each, each, um, kids' room is going to have their own bathroom, which is freaking me right here girls will do right here there's gonna be like at least like they have like nine bathrooms in their house which is a lot so i'm just gonna create like a bunch of bathrooms like upstairs all right we're gonna create the prayer closet right here so they can pray about all the sins they've committed today i really want to be a fly on the wall in the dugger house this is gonna be like a hallway to all the rooms like the bathroom's gonna be right here the mom and dad's room's gonna be here i'm just gonna put like tacky like live laugh love stuff like decorated throughout um i should um create another bathroom downstairs so hmm where am i gonna put it you know what i'll put it right here right in the middle of all this oh this is gonna take a lot longer than i thought <laughs> Ugh, man okay so the Duggars also play a lot of instruments like you know pianos and violins they only play and listen to classical music which <sighs> listen it's i'm not judging anyone's music taste but when you're forced to listen to that stuff it i, I don't know <laughs> uh, all right let's create my plan and i'm not sure if i'm actually gonna do this but this is an idea i had so i want the oldest girl to not get married and just basically be a helpmate to the mom. So so what the Duggars do basically is they have obviously nine girls believe that the women should be helping out in the home. They, you know, cook clean, all that, all that outdated BS. And the women, as they get older, they start to help out their mom more. They basically are second parents to a lot of the younger kids so yeah they help out around the house and mom basically just says okay you take care of the young this young kid and i believe that uh, this is just you know a lot of internet stuff that like basically the younger kids are being raised by the older kids and not mom <laughs> which is really sad it really is sad because you know i only had an, a younger sister so my mom was very involved in my life and you know, I love her to death and everything, but I feel like these kids are not getting mommy attention, which is really sad. Create a little island over here, because that's what they have. All right. Perfect. I'll create, like, stools over here. <sighs> Man, I really do not like building. <laughs> oh, shit. I created it on the wrong side. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> Oops. 
Why did I do that? All right. How do I do this on it? Oh, you know what? I could just reverse this. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> you can tell I just woke up and like decided to do this. Well, <laughs> you can tell I just woke up and like decided to do this. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Oh, I'm already like, I'm looking at the clock. I'm 18 minutes into this and I'm like, I just want to get this done and over with. I might, I'm just very tempted to like, you know, stop recording. And then after, after I'm done, I'm just going to give you a mini tour. You know what? I'm going to do that. We're back. Finally finished what I call the Tin House 2.0. So you'll notice it's an ugly green because <laughs> um, I couldn't get the roof color. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna reverse it and make the, the outside of the house green. So we walk in to the entrance and you'll see there's a big piano right here. There's another piano back here. You know, I'll just move it right over here. Um, so this is the living room area. There's a, uh, you can see right off the bat, there's no television because like I said before, the Duggars don't have a TV, so we're not going to give them a TV. There's violins all over the place. So one of the things the Duggars do is, um, they teach their kids how to play piano and violin. So they're very musically, they're a very musical family as it were. So I'm just going to force the kids to also play the instruments. So this is the laundry room over here. Um, one side has the washers, the other side has the dryers, and I'm gonna put hampers all around eventually, but this is just the outlook right now. Oh, I forgot to paint this room, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Hold on one second. All right, so this is the school room. So like I mentioned before, I downloaded a mod where you can uh, get these PCs and you'll see on the bottom right here, it says school only PC. So it's basically just for school and this is how they're going to be learning and you can only use the computers for schooling. So it'll say like, you know, take online class now or online lecture and the kids will just learn school through the computer. Uh, I made a ping pong table. I have a little slide in here, a little ball pit. And like I showed you before, I created a ladder, which will take you upstairs, which I'm not going to show you right now but I will get to it eventually. So like I said, the living room, there's a bookshelf because, um, you know, the kids got it, are going to read because they're going to be bored with no television. The dining room, I'm going to spruce this up a little bit more as we play, but you can see there's a huge ass table and it has 19 seats exactly on it. Maybe we'll get more kids, maybe we'll get less kids, but you know, there's always going to be 19 chairs available for them um here's two the two kitchens so the, i realize in this there's no industrial like appliances so i was like you know what i'm just going to put the dishwasher back here maybe i'll make another one but for now i think just one will be fine because there's only gonna be two of them to start off with there's a bigger oven there's a little like fridge there's more counter spaces Usually, the, well, the Duggar house, they have, like, a industrial line so you can line up and, like, you know, get food and, like, you know, like, with cafeteria style. But they don't have that option on The Sims, so I'm just going to probably wind up, like, moving the food back here so the kids can grab the food from back here and then just sit in this area over here. So this is the regular, like, front of the kitchen. It has your standard stove. It has a microwave. It has a coffee maker. It has a little island right here. Two refrigerators that are, I think, different colors, but whatever. I don't care. But, and I have a little baby seat right here. A little toddler seat. So, like I said before, this is the living room. They're all going to congregate here. Do whatever it is that they do. So we go upstairs. I decided to create two little chess boards up here because I think some of them do play chess, but I can't remember who. But you know what? They're going to learn to play chess. So this is the boys room right here. I decided to 
be the stereotypical gender roles that the Duggars apply by and make this room blue. And uh, I made sure the beds matched it. Now, I know we're going to start off like a fresh start. Um, not really like, you know, not have any kids to start off with and eventually gradually get more kids. And I understand I'm going to have to get toddler beds in there, but we'll get to that problem when we get there. But for now, I'm just going to put them <laughs> Before you say anything, I know the windows are really out of place and I'll fix that eventually. But like I said, I'm terrible at building. So I just like, I'm just going to slap windows all across here. But I have also created their bathroom. It's like a sea theme with the little, um, little ships on the wall here and a little uh, whale for the bathtub and I made a second bathroom which I'm gonna have to <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to put walls here like a uh, wallpaper but we're gonna make tiles for this one I try to make all the bathrooms a little differently like style and aesthetic but you know it's whatever so this the room next to this bathroom over here is the prayer closet so I forgot to put wallpaper on that one too. So basically, it's just a desk with a chair. And you have to sit and think about what you did. Your sins. All your sins you committed. There's another bathroom right here that is right next to the girls' room. I can't believe I forgot to put all these wallpapers up. Oh. <laughs> Christine, you're slacking today. It's alright. It's Sunday. It's when I'm recording, this is on a Sunday. And we'll go to the parents' room, which is gonna be right over here. So it's just a basic layout. It's a white room. I don't really do anything special to it. Just, you know, just a standard queen size bed. So in the actual Duggar's um, bedroom, the parents' bedroom, they have a little corner set aside for just the baby when it's first born. So. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to put a chair here and I'm going to put a little bassinet right over here for the newborn. And then eventually when the kid grows into be a toddler, then they're going to move into either the boys or girl girls room, depending on who. All right, so let's get to the girls room. Decide to make it as girly as possible. Uh, I'm not going to lie, like the girls room was the most fun to make because, you know, I was just like, okay. What would the Duggar girls want in a room? In all honesty, um, when they actually made the house and they were designing the girls' room for the actual Duggars, they had um, <laughs> they had paintings of horses, and I'm pretty sure, like, not all the Duggars are like into painting or horses, I should say. <laughs> but it was it was terrible. It was a terrible painting too. They redesigned it since, but it's still... I don't know why I put sunflowers in here. I would think like, oh, it's very, you know, very sunflowery. I might just get rid of it, but I'm not sure. And then right over here is their little bathroom. Now, I tried to make stalls in here, but I don't think I made the bathrooms big enough. So I just put one single toilet for each of them, which is fine. I mean, not everyone has to go to the bathroom at the same time, but... If you have the parenting expansion pack, you know what this is. This is the this is the bulletin board where you can set like a curfew time. So it's gonna be 7 p.m. for them because they're very strict. So outside, I created a little playground area for them to play. Um, I have swings and I have a basketball court over here where they can play b-ball. I guess that's what the I guess the kids are still calling it nowadays b-ball. And I made a little barbecue out here for them to barbecue if they want. I'll probably set up like a little seating outside area. Although I, if I tend to do that and the Sims always want to go outside and eat, which is, it's annoying at times. I made bicycles for them, even though I'm pretty sure only teenagers and up can use the bicycles, but whatever. And a little soccer ball. All right. So that's it. That's my little my little tin mansion 2.0 i don't want to remove the floor get out of here with that all right um so next episode we're going to actually make the sims that were that are gonna live here and i'm gonna explain the rules a little bit more all right i will catch you all on the flip side